Utoparamet. Utoparamet is a web-based platform for envisioning, planning, critiquing, and developing intentional communities and micro-utopias. It uses wiki and game-like features to solicit user-generated content in the form of images and text all relating to the planning of various micro-utopias. Its goal is to catalyze creative social planning, act as a forum for debate, and collect a variety of enactable templates. Utopia, which literally translates to no place, is a concept that seems to lend itself better to fiction than to reality. In fiction, Utopias often tell us more about the spirit of the age and the limitations of human nature than they do the practicalities of a planned community. In reality, social planning at a macroscopic scale has historically led to results that are at best messy. That said, utoparament is a celebration of using creativity and vision to tackle social problems and pursue earthly paradise. It is a forum for free speech and free choice. It therefore takes as its inspiration the history of microscale intentional communities, from Shaker communities to the various back-to-the-land hippie communes of the 1960s and the temporary autonomous zones championed by theorist Hackam Bay. Utoparament nurtures a spectrum of virtual micro-utopias that people can freely opt into. Its content is mostly public and copyright-free. How it works. Users join the site to create their own utopias, uploading images, descriptions, creative fictional content, and practical steps towards actualization. They can also become a member of other utopias in which they are interested and contribute their own content. The process of doing this can be as easy as posting something to your Facebook page. There are no technical hurdles. Five descriptors. Each utopia is described in five ways. Images, reveries, guide, laws, and actualization. These can be edited by any member of the utopia and viewed by anyone. Images visually describe the utopia. They can be practical descriptions of the functioning of the utopia, or, just as importantly, they can illustrate the style or cultural character of the utopia. Users can post any images or videos that are online, or upload new images of their own, all of which can be ranked and commented upon by the members of the utopia. This is a useful tool for steering the direction of the planning of the utopia. Reveries are texts such as fictional stories set in the utopia, poems, wouldn't it be nices, or other musings. Like images, they can be uploaded by any member, ranked, and commented upon. They are intended to be fanciful and free in order to encourage creative thought and cruel comments are discouraged. The guide is a wiki text that can be changed by any member. Its purpose is to offer a description of life in the utopia, and it is intended to be exhaustive, form a coherent whole, and yet remain flexible. The guide is a good go-to place for someone who wants to learn about the utopia. Laws at first, this may seem like an icky subject. Who wants to create restrictions when creating a dream society? Of course, simply writing anything goes may be the solution of the true chaos enthusiast, and this is perfectly acceptable at Utopia. However, laws are intended to protect people and structure decision making. Of course, there is the danger that law becomes its own problem, and it is interesting to see how the utopias deal with this issue. Actualization is the section where sufficiently dedicated members may discuss what steps are needed to bring the utopia into existence and act upon their plan. 
together these five descriptors, images, reveries, guide, laws, and actualization, make up the public presentation of the utopia. There is a sixth descriptor, the mysteries. The mysteries are only accessible by members of the utopia and contain elements that are private for various reasons. Perhaps there is private information about the members, secret rights of the utopia's culture, or confidential plans for actualization. The dark side. Positive vibrations are an essential element of any intentional community, enabling a group of like-minded people to dream on the same wavelength while avoiding the knee-jerk criticism that conventional society has towards radical new ideas. However, the absence of criticism is also the absence of rigor, and utoperiment is a forum for criticism as a method of improvement. Some of this improvement is done through functions such as editing the wiki, voting for laws, and ranking images and reveries. But utoperiment has a dark side as well. Dystoperiment is hied to utoperiment's jekyll. Here, users can log in as a troll. The purpose of this user account is to mercilessly criticize the utopias in a way that is entirely anonymous, separate, and untraceable to the user account of utoperiment. When logged in as a troll, users can comment on any descriptor on the site, images, text, etc. Their words always appear in red. Now, let's look at an example of one utopia on the Utoparament website. So what you see here is the Utoparament website, specifically the page for the utopia called Companion. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see images, the first of the five descriptors. And as you can see, they're rated, and they're sorted by average rating. Scrolling down the page, we see the second section. Reveries, which is for more fanciful texts or other content. This one has a video. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> Let's scroll down to the next section, which is the guide, which is intended to be a more exhaustive description of the utopia. It's formatted as a, a, a wiki text that anyone can edit. You might not think that this utopia is your version of utopia, in which case you can scroll up to the top, click switch to troll. It's kind of behind a red screen of sort. Scroll down to the guide. As you can see, the trolls have lots of comments, and they're negative. That's what trolls do. Anyway, so that's the basic function. There's a lot more to the website, um, but this is just a little taste. Many of us are armchair idealists. In our busy lives, we are too entangled in a web of obligations, and certainly too busy, to fully remake our lives and try to unite our dreams with our day-to-day -day way of living. But we are schemers, coming up with creative ways to resist the universe's slouch towards disorder, to feed or conquer our appetites, and to transmogrify the hell that is other people. Like many historical intentional communities, Utoparament represents a retreat from society a safe zone to incubate the baby steps of our everyday dreams so that they may develop to the point where they can make a stand. Hopefully this has been an informative introduction to Uto Paramount. Thank, Thank you. you.